Quintius Altius Fortius. I don't always speak Latin, but when I do, it's an Olympic motto. That would be faster, higher, stronger. Hey guys, I'm Christina Thompson for 8012. The Olympics today have come a long way from humble beginnings. The original games, of course, kicked off in ancient Greece, 776 BC. They only held a handful of events. All of them naked, though, which would get decent TV ratings today. A few hundred years later, the Romans took over and banned the Olympics. Fast forward more than 2,000 years. An inspired French aristocrat named Pierre de Coubertin formed the International Olympic Committee in 1894. They held the first modern games two years later. Total numbers, 241 athletes from 14 countries in 43 events. Remember that. Expansion to the Winter Olympics came at France 1924. In 1936, hard to remember because of the whole Nazi host thing, the Berlin Games solidified a lot of the Olympic myth. A brand new 100,000 seat track and field stadium. The first games to be televised. The first with an Olympic torch relay. After years of more sports and countries added, the 1984 LA Games would be the last step in the evolution. Every Olympics before 84, except for two, lost money. Montreal took 30 years to pay a $1.5 billion debt. LA turned a $223 million profit. They did this with a historic $286 million TV rights deal and with innovative corporate sponsorships to the tune of $126 million. They sold chances to run in the torch relay at 3,000 bucks a kilometer. Today, NBC's TV rights for the games are close to $8 billion. Those numbers we mentioned from 1896 have skyrocketed. Sochi cost $51 billion to host, and it all started with naked dudes wrestling. See you later on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to like our videos, subscribe, and leave a comment. Like ranking the Star Wars from best to worst. Go!